Lighting can completely change a space with the flick of a switch. You know, one minute you can have a very bright room where you're feeding the kids at the kitchen table and, you know, everyone's rushing around. Turn the lights down, turn the top lights off, turn some nice lights on, and all of a sudden you've got a completely different space. What drew me to lighting design was when I bought my first house, I couldn't find any lights that I, that I wanted to use in it, so I decided to make my own. Soon, friends and family were knocking on the door, wanting me to make some for them too. You, I, you often come up with an idea of a light, and I have no idea how I'm going to make it, and I'm dreaming about it. It just takes over, and until I get it out and get it made, I can't stop thinking about it. And I'll start sketching something out with a pencil and a piece of paper. After that, I often turn to the computer and start using 3D modelling. But until I actually get into the workshop and start actually making something, I, you can't really tell how it's going to work, how it's going to feel. I like to use real raw materials. I use, like to use wood, I like to use copper, I like to use concrete as a complete contrast. It's an industrial material, but when you put it alongside some more traditional materials like wood and copper and glass, it, it just really makes them stand out and makes them pop. I also do commission pieces. One of the most recent ones I did was the copper halo, which had 17 kilos of, of copper tubing used in it and all LED as well. One of the biggest pieces I've ever done was commissioned by the National Gallery in Dominique Camp. It's nine metres by nine metres again, using copper and LED bulbs hanging from it, and that's probably the one I'm most proud of. I think Irish people really do appreciate good Irish design. If you buy something handcrafted, it's going to be made of the best materials. A lamp I designed called the Pale has a bulb embedded into a piece of wood. Um, you just couldn't do that five years ago. Uh, the heat from the bulb would, would destroy the wood. Now you can embed LED into any material you like. The sky's the limit when it comes to design.